Hi, this is Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance here to talk to you today about cold flow and cold weather diesel fuel treatment. Now, uh, you might say, hey, it's the middle of summer, it's too hot outside. Why are we considering, you know, why are we thinking about winter time and winter diesel gelling? Well, uh, the reason why this is the right time to talk about it is because this is exactly the time when businesses and uh, you know municipal and government entities and people like that who uh, do business up north where it does get cold and where they do have to treat their fuel every year this is actually the time when those people are gathering the uh, information on all of their options and figuring out what's the best one that they're going to use uh, because uh, that kind of problem requires some planning and the time to do that planning is right now. Now what we specifically wanted to talk about today is this issue of common rail diesel engines. Um, if you have common rail diesel engines as part of your fleet, as part of the equipment group that you need to manage, then you have to be aware that the old way of thinking about cold flow and cold weather protection may not be as adequate as you might think. See, common rail, uh, you know, common rail diesel engines, they're pretty much, among new diesels, they're pretty much the dominant technology nowadays. And it is an excellent technology. Uh, they've been in use actually in the marine and railroad industries for even longer than they have in the transportation sector. And for good reason, I mean, it is a great technology. You know, the dominant trait uh, of the common rail engine is this thing here, the, the, the common rail. It is a rail that is pressurized, controlled by a computer, and it has all of the injectors mounted on it. And the computer will use that rail to actually control how and when fuel is injected into those cylinders. And it really enables uh, some things to be able to be done that were impossible with old engine designs. Um, the computer can, for example, it can do things like it can it can uh, uh, inject fuel into those cylinders multiple times during the course of one piston stroke. Uh, that is something that would have been impossible with old engine designs. And the benefit of that is it really gives us a diesel engine design that is a lot more efficient, it's a lot cleaner, and it's more powerful than engine designs of the past. However, Despite all of these good things, there are some differences in other areas that we need to pay attention to. And one of those areas is how those engines and how the fuel that's used in those engines are affected by the cold weather. See, the, the big difference is that the common rail engines of today, they, they have much higher pressures associated with their injectors, uh, they have much tighter tolerances, uh, much smaller orifices and so they are much more sensitive to things like particulates getting into the fuel. Uh, because of that, they require much smaller fuel filters. See, in the old days with the old designs, they would have a fuel filter that was 20 or 25 microns in capacity or in, in efficiency rating. It means that it would catch, it would screen out at least 50% of particles that were uh, 20 microns or larger. Today's common rail engines, they require uh, secondary filters uh, that will screen out 99% of particles that are 2 microns or larger. That is a substantial difference and that's really necessary when it comes to protecting that valuable engine. But what the, the other effect or the other consequence of that is that uh, it really has a negative effect on the temperature at which you could expect to have gelling problems in that engine. See, the difference between a 20 micron filter and a 2 micron filter, uh, the 2 micron filter is 90% smaller, but the difference in uh, filtration area is not a linear difference, it is a geometric difference. So the difference in the filtration area between a 2 micron filter and the old 20 micron filter is not 90%, it's actually 99.7%. It's a substantial difference. And that means that there's a lot more uh, paraffin wax that is going to get trapped and caught and plug up that common rail filter, whereas before, 
with the larger uh, filter size in the old engine, it would have just passed on through. So the effective difference here for your common rail diesel engines is that you can expect them to have gelling problems at significantly higher temperatures than you might have had them in the past. How much higher? That's a fair question. The old school rationale, the old way of thinking was, if you used fuel where you knew that the cloud point temperature, the temperature at which the wax first starts coming out makes it look cloudy, you would know that the, let's say the cloud point temperature was zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is a typical cloud point. You would then plan for 10 degrees below that. So if you knew that the fuel that you normally use at any given time had a cloud point of zero, you would plan to use cold flow improver in your fuel so that if the temperature ever got down to minus 10, you would be protected. However, because of the change in these filters, uh, now what they're saying is that you should treat the old cloud point of zero as your new plug point. And so that means that if you have common rail diesel engines, you're really going to have to be extra careful and you're gonna have to add cold flow improver uh, earlier in the year than you did before if you want to prevent these plugging problems from happening to you and shutting down your important equipment. So if, if this sounds like you, if this sounds like something that you are uh, normally have to be concerned with, well, we would love to talk to you about why cold flow improver from Bell Performance really is gonna be the best choice for you to, be, to give you what you need this winter. Um, and so if that is you, we would encourage you, give us a call at the office at 407-831-5021, or you can always email us at info at bellperformance.com. We will definitely get back to you, and uh, because we would love to make the case for you as to why Cold Flow Improver from Bell Performance is exactly what you and your common rail diesel engines need this winter.